Hey, welcome to collegecandy.com, it's Caitlin. Today I want to do a quick and dirty review on the new Maybelline Fit line. It's a line of um, foundations and powders that are supposed to be really great for um, matching with your skin tone. So I think it's kind of a play on some of these other companies like Makeup Forever and MAC and stuff that have this wide variety of foundations and powders in all different shades so that you know you can mix and match and find the fit that works best for you. I bought number 230 in the powder and in the foundation and I actually got the powder first because um, the Target that I go to was completely sold out of everything and they only had powders left. So I had been trying out the powder first and love it. Um, I use normally, I use Makeup Forever in 203 and um, I actually feel like this is practically the same thing. Um, it felt really great. It feels like velvet, um, super smooth. Um, I've used it a lot. I've been using it, you know, for a while now since pro pro since they came out. I've been using it. Um, it's very smooth and it stays on all day, which is great. And it's about I think this is about seven ninety nine. So that's a really great deal because this is like thirty two dollars. So. Um, if you are someone who doesn't want to splurge on high-end makeup and want that kind of quality, I think this Fit Powder is for you. The only thing that really bugged me is that I couldn't test any of them out because it's all like, it's not like it's a makeup stand where you can have a tester. So that kind of bugged me because I kind of had to eyeball it and sometimes shades on me can be a totally different color than what it is on the packaging. As far as the foundation goes, um, the 230 foundation was actually a lot darker than the powder, which I thought was weird because the whole point of this is so that you can match. Um, I didn't really understand why this was so much darker, but I mean, this is a pretty, it's a pretty dark foundation and, um, you know, I'm not as tan as I usually am, but I feel like this should have been at least closer to the same color. This was more bronzy and like orange. And this was very neutral and like the color of my skin. Um, so I did have a problem with that. But as far as quality goes, it's pretty decent. Um, it has a wear of about like seven hours, I'd say. But then again, I also use primer and a setting powder. So um, I don't know how this would last if you didn't use either of those things. But it feels smooth. Um, it feels kind of like my Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, but as you can see, like, these colors are really different. This is a lot lighter. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's worth testing out if you are looking for a good foundation and powder and you need something that's a lot more affordable than some of these high-end brands. I definitely think it's worth it because it does last a long time. Haven't had any problems with it. I think the only issue is that you're going to have to work a little bit harder to pick your color. And I don't want you to have to buy three different shades and test them out and have, you know, one of them not work. Um, I don't want people to have to spend money to test out the product. You should be able to test it in the store. Um, and I understand that it's harder because it's in drugstores and stuff, so um, it's a little bit different. But I really wish that they would allow you to test it out. They don't have like a color wheel or anything that you can hold up to your skin. Um, it's really just all on the display, so you kind of have to match it. If you have a high-end makeup, I would recommend bringing it with you and seeing what matches it. Like if you have a foundation that already works and you want to try this brand, I would bring that to the store with you and see where you fall on their fit spectrum. Um, but overall, I think it's a great line and um, I hope that they come out with more stuff and more shades so that everybody can be included because um, it is affordable and it's really great to find affordable products that actually work. So if you're looking for that, check it out and let me know how it goes. If you've also used the Fit line and want to share any uh, comments about it, please leave them below. And as always, suggestions are welcome. And I will see you guys next week.